Hello and welcome to another episode of Squirtified Engineering. I'm Splutis and in today's episode we are basically continuing from the last episode which means that we need to take care of the fasteners that I showed you. So uh, we will just head on in to the bench grinder and uh, I think I'm gonna clean up the stock uh, brake discs or rotors at the same time because they are okay so uh, yeah I will uh, store them so that I have a stock brake setup which works and is ready to go so uh, yeah so here we have the fasteners that I will be treating we have the nuts for the uh, differential. We have screws for the rear brake calipers, front sway bar, and yeah, um, the rear brake uh, backing plates. And then the screws for the front coilovers, connecting them to the lower control arm. And then of course a few brake uh, handbrake related parts as well so let's get dirty Yes, I should be wearing um, a breathing guard. Uh, the one I intended to use was already filled with dust, so it will do me more harm to use it than not to use it. So I will do better the next time, but have a look at this. Here you can see the difference between the uh, lower uh, coilover screws. So this one have been uh, wire wheeled, wire brushed. This one have not. That's so nasty. But the body of the screws are really nice, or is really nice. The nut and the washer cleaned up really well. So uh, yeah, let's continue. That's all the nuts ready in the bench grinder with the wire wheel. So we have the differential ones or for the differential and then for the uh, front rear front arm. Yeah, you know the one I mean. So now we have the screws to 
to do. And all the screws are now finished as well. So again, these four are for the front sway bar mounts. These four are for the rear brake calipers, which I guess I will be reusing with the Evo calipers. And these three are the ones for the backing plate. And then also the other uh, coilover uh, screw is finished so now we only have these uh, handbrake parts left So the handbrake parts, they are good to go for sandblasting. But instead of starting up everything around there, I'm shifting focus to the brackets. So this one is for the boost solenoid. Uh, I think this one is basically fine. I could do a bit of filling in there. But the one for the ethanol content sensor, I need to do some more work. We have a few hopes that I need to weld up. So let's do that instead.
So hopefully you can hear me. This is now the current status of the brackets. They look like uh, they came out of uh, someone's butt. But uh, I will do a bit more grinding and shaping and make it look a little bit better and then sandblasting and painting. So I think it would be okay in the end. And these are also ready for sandblasting as you saw. Uh, so yeah. So that means that I'm done for today. So uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay safe. Take care. Bye bye.